Hi, I'm Paul Cunningham. Um, I'm an artist and graphic designer based in Boyle in County Roscommon. Um, I'm here in the dock, uh, part of the Winter Commission series. And uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, it's nice to be back here and uh, making work with the dock again. I have a long history there in that um, I moved down here to the area in 2005 and then the dock had just after being renovated in its current guise and uh, yeah, they had studio spaces here. Uh, which I had for a couple of years and I was primarily focused on painting. Around uh, a couple of years later I took part in uh, the trade residency where they brought in a, a, an international artist to work with some artists based here locally. It was the first time I really uh, did any moving image work and really used a camera and it sort of, um, it sort of got a bit of a bug for uh, shooting footage and uh, using the, using the, making moving image work. So the, the work itself like is it's sort of about yeah being in the landscape and perception and uh, yeah how we perceive objects within that landscape and our relation to them. I was making some sculptures. I was just taking sheets of paper and wrapping them around my face and my head and making a mask and using that as a mold for plaster cast for for sculptures. There were some off casts from that which I sort of liked, almost like little artefacts. I filmed those in a sort of a cyclical motion and uh, I was just inter interested in them and layering them up and just they're, they're sort of, they're cast off nature. And the other objects in the, in the film piece are um, a series of houses that are sort of, um, that are, were pretty well finished and built uh, and were never really uh, inhabited at all. Like I'd say were probably, uh, went back to Nama or something during the crash. So those buildings then became a sort of um, maybe like a little framework to, <laughs> to build a sort of a st story or a narrative around and uh, they were sort of being reclaimed by nature again now. Throughout the film there's a narrative, has an analogue and digital sort of feel to it but it's talking about this potential and this desire for something maybe that's, that's never going to be fulfilled, you know. When we're perceiving an object, it is also sort of looking back at us. So when we're creating this, it's sort of looking into ourselves as well and how it, this sort of perception is sort of creating a subjectivity, our own subjectivity through that. There's uh, the caves that I've cut out in the film and they're sort of like that portals. There's sort of this, are you looking in or looking out? There's sort of a push and pull there uh, with that experience. And um, then there are also the reflections as well. There's sort of another layer on top of that of sort of you're looking down but also it's looking up so there's sort of a different sort of uh, type of layering going on in that way as well in, in the film work. And the narration is sort of, um, it's a poetic sort of piece that I um, spoke through a harmonica. It's not a narration from one point of view really as such so part of it sounds like the house is talking like as if the house, the spectral entity is in the house. I'm sort of interested in that idea of creating a sort of an atmosphere rather than being explicit about anything. The Sculpture Centre then, yeah, I've uh, started doing a, a residency there which is sort of on pause until lockdown again, but again it's based on caves, about going underground and about, um, yeah, the experience of the body underneath the earth um, and what it means to be embedded and surrounded by rock and the slowing down of time and this geological time. Again, maybe in a slow way and just maybe looking at uh, time and how that we relate to time and the underground and, you know, our experience of that and, uh, yeah, maybe going under topological features <laughs> and how we can sort of maybe, yeah, just have a different relationship to the environment. But, yeah, so I'm looking at that. I enjoy image making. I enjoy using my hands and making craft, really. Um, I'm quite practical in that way and that I still like to actually physically do things like whether it's, you know, I don't paint as I used to at one stage but you know I see that using the camera is quite a phenomenological thing that you're there doing it with it and at the time that I like that experience you know and I think the making art and putting that together then speaks in a different way that's yeah it's not about um, maybe creating its own reality that can stand alone even from myself even from a personality that you know it can have its own identity that's maybe says something else that maybe i haven't had thought about 
and maybe other people can relate to it. That's maybe an alternative, reality, not reality, uh, but yeah, just a different look on the world that you know that can sort of say something that you may not have uh, imagined yourself, or and hopefully for the viewer as well, like or, of the work. Thank you.